Hello, welcome to the channel. If you haven't done so already, make sure to like and subscribe. Appreciate that. Now, in this video, we're going to be watching the 2023 Honda Civic Hatchback Hybrid doing the overlap test. Now, this is very interesting. I always like watching their videos because it gives you an insight on what the car is able to do on the you know sudden movement or certain change of lanes so they're going to do different types of scenarios they're going to do the salon where they're going like you know in and out in and out and then um you know just different things i like it and certain vehicles my god they perform poorly when it comes to the moose test so without wasting more of your precious time let's go watch it now spoiler alert this channel is in spanish um but they do give you like a reference, um, like a like a photo, like a like a reference to go by. Um, they show you exactly what they're about to do, and then they do it. So let's go. Now it's like I said, it's full in Spanish. Uh, Let's do subtitles on. <sighs> Specific Michelin Sport 4. With this car, we're going to perform usual tests such as the Moose test and Salon. Let's see how well it's performed. Hey, I like that. Okay, so that's so that's the um that's the one I was telling you about the uh Yeah. That's this Alana. Let's see how, how, how it performs. This first attempt I performed the Honda Civic, I hit severe several cones. However, the first attempt hopefully to get used to the steering and the reaction of the car. After a few attempts, I achieved the perform moose test correctly. Yo, that Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and Trav. So when he entered, that's uh, that's that's what I'm assuming. When he entered, he was going at uh, 77 um, kilometer an hour. So that's about what um, what is that? 47 miles per hour, roughly. Let me put myself down. It is important to give the moment I feel as heavy as the Civic is. Mass is 15, 17 kilogram in a type approved condition. What stood out most of the car was the steering's precision. Maybe helped by the tire's grip. I performed attempts at higher speed but always ended up hitting a cone. So that is the uh, the Salam. I perform this test with the sport mode. The sound produced the impulse systems and reminiscence of sports cars with combustion engines. The sport mode allows the car to start the saloon for the tensile and the key element in this test. The reactions of the Civic were very good. It had a good grip, which allowed the car to perform well in between the cones. As in the moose test, I did not feel like driving a heavy car, giving its size. So I guess that's where the, the Civic, you know, performed comparing to all the other vehicles. Um, it's right underneath the, what is that, the Fiesta. But it still it still did amazingly well. I've seen certain cars where, like they 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 do like you know like like the turn and then they just look it looks like it was about to tip over. It was insane. So overall, the Civic hatchback, especially and this is the one that we're talking we're talking about the hybrid version of the said vehicles. So and we're not talking about the SI. We're not talking about the Civic Sport or as well as the Type R. Now imagine for a hybrid, it has this kind of handling, which is absolutely amazing. So you're still going to have tons of 
I mean, you're gonna have fun on a hybrid, which is crazy, right? Hybrids are made for efficiency, um, you know, especially when you're driving in the city, not so much in the highway, it's just a waste. But overall, this was a very entertaining video. If you want to see the video, I will leave a link in the description for you to go check them out. And that's Kim or KM77. I watch all their other videos too. It's always interesting on how bad they are even like the the set of like toyotas and the toyota what is it called like the hilux or oh, hilux that car performed terribly when it comes to the moose test but um it's always a good entertaining to watch what kind of what things are these vehicles are capable of because i'm not gonna do it i might flip over my car or do something crazy with it the fact that they're able to do that for you which is nice but anyway I will see you in the next one. If you haven't done so already, I don't know what you're waiting for. It's free to subscribe. Make sure to like the video too. Appreciate it.